Hey, about to cook this fine meal for Tasha. Just uh, check the uh, video out after the intro and see how it was made. Welcome to another video guys. This is a cooking video. Um, I don't do too many of these. I rarely have the time to do anything, but I'm going to make time today because Tasha is very important to me. I'm not just saying that because she might be watching this video, um, but uh, I have uh, a couple things on here that she might like. Hopefully that I cook them correctly. Um, these uh, Brussels sprouts are going to be the longest to cook. Um, what I'm what I'm going to be doing here, um, I'm going to show you here. This is a smoky bourbon boneless beef sirloin steak. Uh, it's already marinated, ready to go. Right here we have a hot smoked Norwegian cracked pepper, farm raised Atlantic salmon. Um, we're going to be making just some regular mashed potatoes. I'm not doing gravy. Uh, maybe we can use the juices off the pan and whip something up. I probably won't do that. I would just do mashed potatoes because uh, Tasha is very particular on certain things, so I don't want to mess anything up. Um, and we have some, we're going to be doing some roasted Brussels sprouts. These right here is going to take 40 minutes to cook, uh, about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes prep. Uh, so I'm only going to have about 10 minutes left over, so I'm going to have to hurry up and do this video. Uh, but uh, I'm going to add the sour cream, cheese to the mashed potatoes. I'll get to that point in, um, when we get to it. Uh, but what I do, I would have to tell you guys, I wrote a list. This is a game plan. The top one is the first one that I need to do. The first one that I need to do is the Brussels sprouts. That's going to take the longest. Um, Why I do that? I can go ahead and cook the potatoes. You want to cut these in the same sizes so they cook evenly. So I'm going to be doing this, the potatoes, and these, these, this is going to take, I'm going to say the sirloin steaks, uh, four to five minutes, flip it two to three minutes, and then um, cover it about five to nine minutes. Um, and that will be done. This right here, you just take out the pack, room temperature, it's ready to go. No, I'm just kidding. Some people do that, but this right here um, is going to take about three minutes on one side and maybe five to six minutes on the other side. You want to get it golden brown and then it's heated already on the other side, flip it, cook it a little longer and it's ready to go. You want to push your finger into it. If it's uh, almost firm, it's ready to go. If it's firm, it's going to be overcooked. So let's get to going and uh, see how this turns out. Three tablespoons of oil. Just cutting the brown parts off of this. Hey, I have all these in the bowl. What I'm going to do is put some cracked black pepper in there. Get about a half a half a teaspoon, I would think, or a tablespoon. It just depends how much you want. I like a little garlic powder. You can use fresh if you want, but it gets bitter, like an ex-girlfriend. So you don't want to add too much of that. Put a pinch of salt. And if you didn't know, a pinch is two dashes. Uh, a dash is a half a pinch. So keep that, keep that in mind. I like a little salty, like McDonald's fries. I'm gonna use my hands here and get all, get into it. There you go. I can't touch this camera screen too good because I don't want to get oil all over the new camera. So sorry about that. Okay. 
and um, I'm gonna put it in the uh, pan here. I use the I use the older pan because this actually browns better. I want a good uh, a char on these so you want to put it in the oven 400 degrees preheated if you don't preach your oven your oven you have nothing to say to me um, but preach your oven to 400 degrees wait till it's preheated put the oiled brussels sprouts on the pan every 10 minutes shake it give it a shake okay there you go it'll be done in 40 minutes so let's put it in the oven and get it going Okay, I'm gonna put this one for uh, 40 minutes to be completely done. This timer, I'm gonna put for 10 minutes. So I have that timer to flip it. This timer is done, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on that to heat that water up for the potatoes. Um, I'm gonna cut the potatoes for you, show you about the uniform um, consistency that I look for when I do potatoes and give you some fun facts here and there while I'm at it. If it's not correct, don't listen to nothing I say anyway, okay? Just having fun. So if you are a YouTube wiki person, um, please, 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 don't beat this uh, video up, okay? This is how I cook, you cook yourself. How about that? Get your own girlfriend. Hey, gonna peel the um, potatoes in the sink right here. I have a strainer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this going in here. Won't take too long. Um, I like this uh, potato pillar right here. I used to have one at my old house before it burnt down that I really liked, uh, but this one works pretty good. Uh, just gonna do three potatoes. And um, I, I think I'm gonna add onions to, to the potatoes. I, I did that while off camera, I made executive decision. And usually on the end, if you didn't know, on the end of peelers, they have a thing where you can get the, they call them eyes on the potato. So you just take them out like that. And you don't have to worry about that. I don't really care about if there's a little bitty black marks in there, just gives it character to what she said. But here you go, there's a spud looking right at you and i'll get the other two done and i'll be right back with you yeah, I'll go ahead and dice these up try to do uniform so let's just see how this works chop it up and like i said the, the smaller you get the quicker it's going to cook Okay, something like that. Something like that. Okay, and we'll get this, the rest of this chopped up. I'll put it in the paint and the pot of boiling water and uh, we will have that. But there's a fun fact I just wanted to tell you. It's not, I don't know if it's fun or if it's even a fact, but bring it up here. Okay, um, if you cook these potatoes whole, um, it takes a lot longer to do, but it absorbs the milk and the, the dairy and the cheeses and um, everything else that you're going to be, uh, it absorbs it better if you cook it whole. That's what they say. I don't care about that. It doesn't make that much of a difference, okay? Who got time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that.
Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just chop this onion up. Um, I'm not gonna chop much, it's just gonna be a few potatoes. So I don't want too much onions in there, but I want a little extra flavor uh, in with the potatoes. And sometimes these middle ones um, get too spicy for some people. So I'm gonna take the middle uh, ring out. There you go. And what I'm gonna do is uh, Cook the potatoes until they are fork tender, okay? Fork and tender, how about that? And then I'm gonna put this in a pan with some butter and get this sauteed. She does not like raw onions, so Tasha will definitely like the sauteed ones in the potatoes. And they're fancy, they're purple. They're actually, they call them red, but they're actually purple. Make sure to add a little salt in here because the salt helps it sweat. Another three minutes on that. I'm not sure if any of that recorded what I just said, but Tasha had got home, so I'm in a rush and frantic to do everything. Uh, hopefully I just don't burn uh, everything like I did. Pretty much burnt the onions the second time. Okay, burnt the onions the second time. I'm gonna have to do that over. I don't have much time to do all this. I'm gonna get the um, sour cream in here. Sorry, I'm rushing guys. I'm gonna get the sour cream in here um, and the cheese. Other than that, uh, I gotta show you how I cook this that other stuff too real quick. Oh This is just in a hurry. Sorry. Uh, let me uh, let me get right back with you There you go Go ahead and eat if you're hungry. It's ready to go. You 
come out. I'm burning up. I'm burning up trying to do these skits with these hot clothes on. Yeah, I I don't even know if I'm recording in the right setting, so hopefully this video is okay, the volume and everything, because it's on a different setting on top. Found that out at the very end. Then I burnt the onions three times, so I had to redo them. It was supposed to have been red, then it was black, and then I had to use white onions. It's a lot to do this. I can do this, but uh, video and do this, mm -hmm. it's a lot. Let me take this off. Is it hiding me here or is it just me? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, she doesn't like to eat in the dark. I had a little candle here I was gonna put out. <laughs> you can't even see, they can't even see it good. There you go. Okay, well, what we have here um, I got to wrote down sirloin steak. It's a smoky bourbon boneless beef sirloin steak. Uh, we were, we're over here at the hot smoked Norwegian uh, cracked pepper farm raised Atlantic salmon. Salmon. Um, I, I made the mashed potatoes with some cheese and some sour cream and the onions on top and the roasted uh, Brussels sprouts. I have the gravy here. I know you're not particular. Some great you like kind of particular about gravy. So I put. Uh, some um, flour to richen it up, to thicken it up a little bit. So that is the juices from the steak. Mm -hmm. um, dirt and water. People call it surf and turf. It sounds better. So dirt and water. So, but that's what this is. What was you expecting? I had no clue. Nothing. You think it was going to be like bologna? No, I, I made sure I asked you was it going to be something crazy. Oh. So I knew it was going to be real food, but... I didn't know what. Well, I told him I'm usually not spending money to do certain things. So Brussels sprout was not even on the high side. The only thing was, a, it wasn't even that much, but well, for that much, I guess this, but for this moment though, it's priceless. It's like, who cares? <laughs> Throw it out the window, right? So I'm proud of you. And you don't have to, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know if this is done all the way inside. I don't know, you know, I did p poke the, poke the salmon make sure it was still like kind of firm. Um, but I did cook this on the higher side than the, the lower. And I did cook this as well, not having it like just room temperature. I did put some heat on it. So, and the salt and pepper, I do have, you can go ahead and eat salt. I have uh, garlic and I have the black pepper and I have the sauce here if you need any of that. But um, I don't, you're not in this video that much, but it was uh, for you, just, just for putting up with me. That's exactly what, so she might put up with me if I do stuff like this every now and then. So guys, girls, whoever you are, and you have a significant other that you do probably think they deserve more sometimes. So I, I know I'm not the, uh, the perfect person you think I am on the internet, um, but um, I'm, I'm a person. So I have my downfalls, um, but I do appreciate Tasha. So that's why I wanted to do this today. So with that said, we're going to eat. Gotta go. It's not a GoPro. So. You don't want me to taste it on camera? Oh, oh, go ahead. You don't have to lie to me because I'm sweating. <laughs> no, but I don't, I don't like to salt a lot of my stuff. So I put the salt in here so you have the big container. Um, I don't even know how it tastes, but. That's good. The Brussels sprouts, I wanted to get tender and um, I did want to put a roast on them. Uh, it's better than that one place we went That's to where it, it just had a lot of leaves. It, she could probably cook this better than me. And, and, and honestly, like I said, to get this on camera for you guys, it's very hard, very hard to put a plan on paper, get this done while you video. So, oh, uh, hey, you ain't telling me nothing, I don't know. Yeah, so it's... I started with this for 40 minutes. This is cooked for 40 minutes, so it, it takes at least 50 minutes, 10 minutes to prep, 40 minutes for that. Then I had to put the p potatoes in to, to get that done. And then the last was the, the, the meats. So it doesn't take long for these meats here to cook. That tastes good and smoked. They're, they're both smoked. They're black like Colorado. Mm -hmm. Germany, Norwegian. Is this just a recipe you found or? 
You just made up some. Um, actually, I'm not gonna lie to you on camera. These were already seasoned. Like I didn't add one drop to any of this. So that's what I'm saying on this. You might want to add a little bit. Ooh, look at them juices. Mm -hmm. But when you do, when you do the meats, you want them to rest about two to three minutes. You want to chop right into them. All the all the liquids come out and it gets dry. So you, when you do get it off the heat, don't dig right into it. You want to let it sit for a minute. You did good. Thank, Thank you. you. So here's another cooking video for you guys. It's not really, really, really detailed detail because I was in a, in a rush and it's really hard to do something like this. But if I do one dish um, and maybe in the future, I'll probably get a little more detail to it. So. Good job. That said, I'm going to get out of here. I want to check the meat out real quick. And I'm not just saying that because y'all should by now know how I am. If I don't like it, I'm going to say it. And I'm going to tell you, I don't like my meat like done done like this, but I I, 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 I do it's it more. It's juicy. I did it. It's juicy, but I did it more because uh, Tasha likes. Uh, I like medium. Likes medium. Okay, let me. I can't get the camera to. Oh, now it does it when I'm off. Oh, okay, because your eyeballs is in there. That's what it was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching another video. Um, we're going to go ahead and chow down. So I will talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments. Uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day. Let's meet other plans.